What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Noah Cavanaugh. If this is your first time watching some of my content, welcome to the channel. So excited to have you guys here. Today is going to be a pretty straightforward individual technical session. We have about two weeks of break um, between just before Christmas and after New Year's. Today is the 28th or 29th, I believe. Uh, kind of lost track of time because I was over in Brisbane visiting some family um, and all that. So fantastic trip. But today is going to be focused solely on just the fundamental mental stuff so making sure I'm really really sharp with all my little touches inside outside laces all that kind of dribbling little tight turns etc etc um, plus a little bit of juggling and maybe some fitness at the end if I'm feeling up for it or if uh, I am I have the energy so it is a very warm day today it's about 89 90 degrees Fahrenheit so it's pretty warm it's about noon which is not the smartest idea maybe but uh, we'll see how it goes so let's hop into the video guys and hope you enjoy First one, super, super straightforward. Just a line of cones. We're going left foot only, right foot only. Then we're going inside, outside. I'm doing a little like push up, drag back through and up, back through, same idea. And then roll over inside, outside, and then maybe one or two more. So just all of those really quick in succession, take a rest, do some like 100 juggles, and then repeat that set. We'll go like five sets of just this simple drill with some juggling in between each set of like five or six. hydrating super super important especially when it's this hot outside this is my hydro safe stuff so no sugar no like spike in uh, sugar high or anything like that so I feel really constant throughout the entire training session something that I wanted to share with you guys really quick um, is make sure you check the link down below for the zoom uh, because of some issues with people in Europe I'm gonna actually switch it to like 6 a.m. my time instead of 8 a.m. so it'll be two hours earlier than predicted I think there was somebody in the UK somewhere that mentioned that that would be like midnight so hopefully we can do it at like 10 p.m. their time I'll wake up early I don't have any problem with waking up early and then it'll be like mid-afternoon US time so that'll be perfect so make sure you go and check that link below to check what time for you guys it is so you guys can hop on that Q&A and we'll do like an hour of question and answer um, live with uh, with the stream so really looking forward to seeing you guys face to face on vacation or something and you don't use your boots for a little bit and they get really dry and you are used to playing with like indoor shoes or whatever so those are nice and soft but then you come back onto the pitch after like six or seven days of wearing boots and they're really hard or not hard I guess but they're stiff and they hurt your feet like they would if they were brand new that's what's happening right now these bad boys super comfy shoes obviously love these really really into these puma shoes um but one of those moments you just gotta untie them and retie them
we are in between sets. So just finished all five of that line drill with the juggling. I'll show you the next one in just a second. But again, make sure that depending on the weather, you guys are getting a lot of fluid in you. It's super, super important, especially those of you who are watching from uh, Australia and or any other place on this lovely planet of ours that is super warm. It's so important to make sure you hydrate. This is number three or four for the day and it's just about 12.30. So I'm making sure I'm getting tons of, lots of liters of liquid down. I'm probably hitting like six to eight now, depending on what my training schedule looks like. So obviously hydration, 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 so important guys. So keep that up. Another thing to make sure on your, um, this footwork stuff is make sure you're focusing more on technique rather than speed. It's much more important, I think, in my book, when I train to focus on technique. The speed comes once you get that technique down. Um, it's all about making sure you do it slowly, do it correctly first, just in the same way that you would go to the gym and only lift the bar before you try to do a hang clean with 100 kilos. Like nobody's ever gonna make you try to do that. So the, my logic is get the form down, then the speed comes, just like any other video that I've said like just make sure you get that form down and eventually the speed will build plus as you grow older you're gonna be in situations excuse me there's sweat all in my eyes that's why I'm squinting um, there's gonna be situations and you're gonna be playing with players who are better and better and better progressively as your career moves on so don't worry about oh my speed of play has to be like the Premier League when I'm 13 years old like no it doesn't and there's only a few players in the world who could handle that type of speed at 13 years old so again biggest thing for me is make sure you're doing technique and make sure you're hydrating. All right guys, next little bit of footwork. Hopefully you can hear me from here. Um, we're gonna go, we got two cones set up just to make sure I'm getting up and down, up and down each one or in the middle, whatever it is. And I've got a cone about 10 meters ahead of me. So I'm gonna do a skill 20 times through here. So maybe it's pull back, touch, round, up, pull back, touch, round, up something like that, super, super simple. So we're gonna do that 20 times and then explode up through the cone, round the cone and come back here, rest, do that set three times and then we'll change skills, okay? Super simple, make sure you get form over the, uh, like form over speed again, same up and back. Let's get it. Next one is going to be a little bit more um, sort of all, a lot of toe touches. So I'll set you guys up, let you know what it looks like, and we'll throw you guys right there. So it's gonna be a lot of little toe touches. I'll explain it in just a sec. Okay, so with this one, we're gonna go up this way, pull back, up, through, up, back, up, through. Okay, then we'll go the other way. Up, back, up, through, up, back. So we're getting the top of the foot, the bottom of the foot, the 
inside the foot and the laces. So you're kind of getting every single part of the foot as you're going in and out. Because it's a little slower, we're just going to go 10. So five each way and then explode up through the cone and back again, three sets. Here we go. getting lots of good touches like that so let's get it all right guys so this next one again hopefully you can hear me otherwise I'll be doing a voiceover right now okay we're gonna do this a little more complicated for the skillers okay we're gonna go up back touch up back L turn okay Iniesta up back touch up, back, around, Iniesta. Up, back, touch. Up, back, here, Iniesta. Up, back, touch. Make sense? Okay. So, for those of you who can't do that quite yet, do one of the first three that I demonstrated and make sure you get that really, really quickly and then you can try the more complicated ones. I'm going to do the complicated ones. We're going 10 total and then up and back, three sets per usual. Let's get it. one is right behind me so as you can see got the like Ronaldinho drill so it's just a bunch of random cones explode through there gate 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 and then through the cone we're not turning around and going backwards just straight through the cone explosion out of those three gates so really really focused on game speed make a move get through those cones and then get through those gates and then explode as best you can like down the line or through a line of defense etc etc so super straightforward let's get after it last drill So that last set was two sets of five as quick as you can. So you get through those, walk back with the ball, start again. Two to three sets of five, depending on how you're feeling. Obviously for me, it's like 90 degrees. I've been out here almost an hour and a half now with between juggling in between sets and all that stuff. So it is a very warm day. That is it 
for my session. Um, and that is it for the video, guys. Try this little Tekker section at home. It's actually super easy to do if all you have is like 10 meters of space. Um, you can do it in 10 meters and even less if you don't add that extra little uh, sprint with the ball at the very end. So hopefully that is a good workout for you guys. Um, I am going to stretch out for about an hour and get everything sorted, get my hips mobile, et cetera, et cetera. So as always guys, be awesome. Make sure you subscribe down below, leave a comment which drill is your favorite and which if you were able to get that really fancy one at the end of the second drill, that variation is super fun. I love doing that one. It's a good challenge um, and it makes sure at the very end of those variations, I'm on my toes. So uh, leave a comment which one you like best. And as always guys, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.